<laughs> oh, look at him show out. Hey y'all, Justin with Kayak Catfish. Today's video is another one that kind of follows the same pattern that you've seen in my most recent videos. I got out here a little before dawn, anchored down and set up, and for that first hour, hour and a half after the sun come up there, the bite was on. I was just getting taps and catching fish left and right. And then about 8.15, 8.30ish this morning, the bite just kind of shut off. And that's how it's been the last few trips out. It's been a a morning bite right there as the sun comes up. I had hoped today we had a thick fog out here this morning. We got some rain last night and uh, there was a, a thick fog and I had hoped that uh, that fog would help extend that morning bite a little longer. But it just wasn't the case. About 8.30 or so, it's been just kind of sporadic since then. But I hit two different areas out here today. I started out in a creek mouth uh, and fished there for the bulk of my trip. And then you know once I hadn't had a bite there in a long time, I slid on downstream and I anchored down here at the top of a hole and uh, that's where I've spent the remainder of the trip today and I've caught a few more fish here just kind of just kind of picking up sporadically like I said but all in all it's been a good day I got some action I got a big fish hope you enjoyed the video uh -oh. my bear's got some weight on it now let me get this one down here and we're gonna deal with that been having some dink taps. A dink had ripped this bait off the hook. Tell it's got some weight on it there. Let's pick up on it. Let's pick up on it. He's on there. They don't feel terribly big. But we're getting the skunk out anyway. These fish are active this morning. These carp and buffalo just jumping all over the surface out here and uh, I've had dink taps from the moment I've anchored down I've been on the water I've been anchored down and set up maybe 10 minutes or so 15 minutes and just immediately the dinks were just peck 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 and like I said they had ripped the bait off that one up there a minute ago that's so what do you eat gizzard shad head there he is. That is pale, buddy. Look at that. That is a pale fish. He's a light yellow, light brown. He's probably probably been deep most of the winter here. He's still pretty. I like them all. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Go get big, Mr. Flathead. <laughs> I'm going to drop that bait back down. Those baits I'm using is some gizzard shad. I had caught them on uh, Tuesday nights and Thursday when I'm filming this video. And I had caught them on Tuesday night, so they're a little over a day old. And that's usually about with shad. I usually don't like to use them past about the two-day mark. I like them. I like them as fresh as I can get them, preferably. You know, catch them the day of, but... Uh, these early morning trips like this, it's nice to go ahead and have some versus having to catch them when you get out here just because I want to take advantage of this bite here at first light. So uh, we'll drop that back down. Let's we'll see if we can get some more. I don't know if he's on or not. He hit it. I'm going to pick up on it and just see if he's on there. Yeah, he's on there. Yeah, he's hooked up with it. I think it's another small one. These dinks of said before they have just been on me since I dropped my baits down it's just an active morning out here so these carp and buffalo splashing everywhere I've seen some bass busting back in that creek you can hear the turkeys gobbling everywhere there's a lot of activity going on out here this morning I just need them big kitties to be active <laughs> there he is a little dink blue Eat a gizzard shad head. We'll drop it back down. See if we can get the big one. I'm optimistic today. There he goes, there he goes. Fish on. See if I can steer him out of my other line there. Went that direction for it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, y'all. This morning so far has kind of been a 
kind of been a dud you know recent trips that bite at first light there is when I've been getting my better fish and you know, it's starting to certainly pass that point this morning and thankfully we had some rain last night so we've got a lot of fog on the river here this morning and I think that's that extra cloud cover I was hoping would give me a little extra time out here this morning hopefully get a, get on some bites but thus far it's been these this size of fish and smaller because they have been stripping my hooks just left and right I have went through some shad this morning just getting ripped off the hook without even hooking up so uh, I'm gonna keep at it I may end up moving you know I've kind of been doing this thing this year where I'm sitting on spots a lot longer and kind of just doing a year-long experiment if you follow my website you know I've talked about this and some uh, blog posts and articles but uh, you know today with just like I said the number of dinks that are down there just stripping my hooks these small fish I almost almost feel like I need to move to get away from them and give myself a chance uh, at a bigger fish today but I'm gonna set it out here a while longer and just see if things change if some big fish move in here I think it'll disperse these smaller ones so uh, you know, hopefully we'll give it some time see what happens there goes one there goes a fish there it goes that's big enough to get hooked up right there <laughs> I just reeled that line in you can see there another dink has stripped that hook <laughs> I finally got one big enough to actually eat the bait and the hook for once this one's this might be worth turning the other camera on here for, maybe. I'll tell you what, I'm about, I'm about frustrated with these dinks. I don't mind catching small fish, but when you own fish that are so small, you can't even get them on the hook. It's just a, it makes for a frustrating day. Thankfully, I got a lot of bait today. I may still end up moving. We'll see what this one's like when I get him up here. I think this is probably a flathead. I don't feel him rolling yet. I was hoping to catch some more flatheads today. Fishing. If you've been watching my last few videos, I've been uh, fishing upriver from here, hitting a shallower section of the river. And today I'm, I'm back a little further downstream. Uh, got the same current flow. Uh, they're still running 33,000 CFS at Fort Loudon Dam, which is what they've been running my last few videos there, my last few trips. But you know, I'm farther downstream, so river's deeper down here. It's wider down here. It's not the uh, not the same intensity of the flow where I'm at. Today I'm fishing fishing another creek mouth. This creek dumps in here. It's uh, 34 feet where I'm at. Water temp's a little warmer here too, it's 65 degrees. Oh, yes, a, this is a blue, man. I thought it was a flathead. It's a blue. That's pretty good too. Let's get that camera over there and get a look at him. There he goes. I didn't think he was done yet. <laughs> if I look at him, show out. <laughs> that is a good one. I'm going to stand up and bring this one in. Let me move that camera there. It's the last thing I want to see is that thing go flying. Look at that. Look at that now. That's a good one, buddy. I like that. That's what he eat right there, that old gizzard shad head. I got it back too, thankfully. So I'm going to use it again. Let's hold him up here. <laughs> man I am so thankful to get this fish I was so close to moving y'all you just don't know how close I was to pull an anchor and moving there's a hole downstream from here uh, you know a few hundred yards but it's a lot deeper water and I thought you know if these dinks are up here at this creek maybe I'll move down there that hole and find some find some better fish so may still end up doing that but I am thankful to hook into this feller <laughs> I am impressed with him. Well, let's let him go. What do you say? Go get even bigger, you ugly thing. I'm just kidding. I think you're beautiful. Now he gone. Back where he come from. There 
goes. There he goes. There's the fish. He hooked up again. On a positive note, the dinks have kind of been leaving me alone here the last little bit. It's about 8.30 right now. 8.30-ish. But, uh, all the action seems to be dying off. The carp and the buffalo, they're not splashing. The dinks have got one here, but they ain't been pecking as much. All right, another little dink. At least he was big enough to eat the bait and the hook. Like I said, though, it's just been a, you know, it was all, all kinds of surface activity out here earlier. The carp and the buffalo jumping around, turkeys in the woods, dinks pecking at my baits constantly. Uh, for the last half hour or so, now the sun's starting to peek out, this fog starting to burn off. Um, you know, and that's been how it's been lately. Uh, about 8.30ish and on, the bite just dies off. But I'm gonna put in some more time out here today. Uh, kinda happy that those dink taps are, are subsiding a little bit just because they were ripping my baits off left and right and uh, I'm hoping if I can just get my baits down there and soak them a while maybe a big fish will move through so I'm gonna rebate this line and put our time in fish oh, let's pick this one up <laughs> I was trying to rest my eyes a little bit so long since I've even had a peck. I moved off that creek mouth and slid downstream here. I'm at the top of this hole now. And uh, I thought, you know, wasn't doing any good up there. I sat there about four hours. Got dinked to death this morning. Got that one good fish, and so I thought, well, the sun's up. I hadn't had a bite for a while. I'll slide down here, put myself at the top of this hole. So far, it's been a bust too, other than this one little bink here that I got on the line right now. There he is. Not much to look at, but by gosh, he was needed. <laughs> it's been dull out here for a while. I think, I think that head's about had it. I'm going to replace that with some fresh bait. So I got a fish on right there now. I got a fish on. That might be a better one. Got the camera going. This one might be worth going through the trouble of filming a little extra for. <laughs> this one here ate some threadfin shad. I'm out of gizzards and that other head I'd had on after the other dink had uh, been caught on this rod. It was done, so I put some threadfin shad on here. All right, guys, he's a dink, but he's a fat dink. <laughs> he's probably the biggest of the dinks I've caught this morning. Said other than that one good blue cat, it's been this size and smaller and since the sun got up high in the sky, there ain't been a whole lot of that either. <laughs> I'm probably gonna give it another hour out here though, just to, uh, yeah, we'll give it to time. I ain't got nothing else to do today. I'd sure rather be out here than sitting home in front of the TV set. Fish on here, oh, that was good. Got a fish on. Uh, well, poor timing on this fish, y'all, poor timing. <laughs> I've hooked this fish, but the real situation, let me get up here so I can show you. <laughs> I was about to reel in my lines because this right here, I've got a green buoy, green navigational buoy that has worked its way free, I guess, and it is moving downstream here on a direct path with me. <laughs> See if I can get this fish in here, and I may may have to put him landing him on hold for a minute. Actually, 
See if I can push this buoy off of me as it comes down. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see drifting down river. It's always a good idea to keep an eye on what's going on behind you. You never know what's floating there. Let's see. I'll get rid of this fish here pretty quick. Oh, oh, oh. Now come on now, fish. We got stuff to do. We got stuff to do. I need you to calm it down a notch. I'll send you home right quick. Goodness. It's in there deep. There you go. All right, you're free. All right. Well, let's deal with this buoy here. It may actually miss me. Believe it or not, the wind's blowing that way. So it may kind of push it. It's going to be close. It's going to be a close race here. <laughs> All right, y'all. I got lucky. That buoy missed me. I didn't have to reel in my other lines, but... I do think that I probably will go ahead and call it a day out here. It's been a, a interesting morning. I got my hopes up first thing because this fog was real thick out here. And I thought, you know, with this bite I've been on here lately, that's been right at sunrise for that first hour or so after, after the sun come up, I thought today with the fog, as thick as it was, that, that bite might extend a little longer. But uh, it really wasn't the case. About 8.30 or so, uh, the bite was just kind of dead. and. Uh, uh, you know, even the dink taps, I was just getting eat up with dinks first thing. I mean, they were stripping my hooks left and right. And, uh, you know, thankfully I caught a few of those. And, of course, I got that one real good blue there. But then after that, after about 8.30, I sat there on that spot a while. And just not much of anything going on. And so then I come down here, anchor down on uh, right at the top of this deep hole here, uh, downstream from that creek. And uh, I've been sitting here ever since. I think that last fish I caught, I think it was the third dink I've got here. Uh, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's just been a morning bite here lately. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.